Hey mate, can I get a photo of you on the bike? Three, two, one. Awesome, thank you. Here we go. Hey, how are ya? Hope you're doing well. Today we're gonna to be shooting with this thing, which is the brand new Lumix S5. I've never shot on this camera before. I literally opened it about one minute ago and just by looking at it, there's a couple of things I like right off the bat. I like this red button here. I know it's a small thing and you might not think it makes sense, but I like how it's fully red. It's the little things in life. The cool thing about this camera is it's meant to be both for photographers and videographers. So I'm currently shooting on another Lumix S5. So I'm shooting in their V-Log, which is their log format for vlogging or just filming in general and then I'm also going to be taking photos with it. So it's like it's like an all-in-one sort of camera. The lens that we're going to be using is a 20 to 60 mil with the lowest aperture 20 mil being 3.5 and then when you zoom it all the way in it's going to be 5.6. Ideally for street photography I would have used something like a 35 mil like a prime lens but this is a kit lens that comes with the camera so we'll see what we can do with that. I don't know how weather sealed this camera is but it's pretty decent rain. It's definitely not light rain. I'd consider this like medium to heavy rain. I've got it on automatic ISO. I think my shutter speed is just going to stay at 1 200. Oh, there's a tram. I can't not shoot a tram. The first photo I ever take is going to be of a tram. Oh, I like that shutter noise. Oh, did we get that guy in focus? That autofocus worked really well. We got, we managed to get that guy in focus. We got another photo of this tram, of course. Yeah, I really love the shutter noise on this camera. It reminds me more of a the DSLR, like it's a bit more clicky. I'll get a photo of these leaves here. We'll test the autofocus, all right, ready? We'll put it to the center, boom. How did we go? Perfect. So this is a single photo, and then this is a multiple. So I'll keep it in that mode. Because I want to be able, I don't want to miss a shot, if you know what I mean. Alright, sort of a taxi. <laughs> nice. Dude, so far the colours are looking sick. Whoa, look at that focus. That is sharp. There you go. All right, now we are shooting in raw, sweet. Got a bit of depth with these leaves. I like it. Dude, you literally just can't go wrong shooting in the rain. That's cool. We got this guy riding through with the bike symbol there. He's got some loud brakes on that bike. It's got a flip screen as well, which is sick for filming. Yeah, flip screen would be good for filming, but, oh, actually I can take photos like that, like low photos. So if I want to get really low down to the ground, let's try that actually. Like if I want to get like low to the ground, I can just do that. Cool. That's sick. All right, I think this could be a cool shot here. Well, you can literally get like all the way low to the ground. That's so sick. It's actually a really handy feature. I reckon I'll be using that more. Well, I reckon a photo of this girl walking with the red backdrop could be cool. 
Yeah, it's like on that on that red backdrop for sure. Damn it, that guy ruined it. How's it going? Wait, mate. Good, how are you? Good, He's posing. Is he posing? I don't know. It's a cool shot with all the lights there. Let's see what it looks like. No. Can we get it? I think my shutter speed's too high. I need to get a bit slower to get that light. Yeah, good enough. It's a cool shot through here. Maybe like, even a shot like through there. Cool. Hey mate, can I get a photo of you on the bike? Do you reckon I could get a photo of you on that? That looks sick. Do you reckon you could turn the wheel? Yeah, a bit, oh, other way, other way. Yeah, that's really cool. One sec. All right, ready? Three, two, one. Awesome. Thank you. Yeah. yeah. Dude, I want a bike like that. See how big those wheels were? I sort of rushed that a bit. I reckon if I was to do that again, I would have asked him to be on a, a bit more of an angle. But I was sort of like, didn't want to waste his time. Even though this lens isn't like 2.8, it's still, it's still good. Like even though it's 5.6, I was thinking that it wouldn't have enough depth in it, but it's pretty good. For a kit lens, a lens that comes with the camera, no complaints at all. I love the grunginess of this shot here. It's like all the bins and everything. We got some, we got an umbrella. And the umbrella's going down. All right, I've just swapped it to silent mode. Get a nice wide angle shot. Nice look up. I think silent mode is good if you want to get photos of people when they're right up close to you. And you don't want them to hear the, the sound of the shutter. Oh, that's a cool shot there. Look at that. All these things here, that looks sick. Oh, you can move the focus point around here. Wherever you move that, that's what it's gonna focus on. Move it down a bit. Or you can just tap on the screen, probably easier. Actually, you know what? I like, I like the noise of the shutter. That's a sick shot. Just like. That's sick. Ooh. That's pretty cool. Potentially got some bokeh. Yes. Yeah, the thing about this lens is because it goes to 5.6, you just don't get that depth of like a 2.8. But let's have a look. Yeah. Maybe you need to focus on something that's like a bit more closer. If you know what I mean. 
Yeah, no. Nah. Not getting it. Go. Cool. Uh, I need a longer shutter. Good. Oh, that's a sick shot. Dude, I don't even feel like I'm in Melbourne here. I feel like I'm in Singapore because it's so humid today. It's kind of a cool shot. Hello, doggy. Hey. Hello. <laughs> I love all the textures on the window. That's sick. I took this photo years ago. I forgot that I took it. That's funny as. I remember some Melbourne photographer called me out for like taking the same photo as him. Boom. Cool. The, the camera got pretty wet before, but it's dried up now. And it seems to be fine, it's all working, so must be pretty good weather sealing on this. I like the textures on this building here as well. That is cool. That is a cool alleyway. I think I've shot this before and said the exact same thing in another video. I think it was a, I think it was another POV video. I said the exact same thing. Oh yes, yes. We have reflections. All right, here we go. Oh, that is a shot. Dude, reflections just make everything that much better. Oh, yeah, I'm happy. If I don't get any more photos tonight, I'm happy because I got that one. <laughs> Mate, you're not a photographer if you don't photograph the pigeon. Oh, that was a good pigeon photo. The character of this building is so sick. Hello. That was interesting shooting with another camera. I usually, I don't usually swap out my camera, so it was really cool to try out. Before the shoot, I was sort of a bit, not nervous, I was just thinking about the fact that this lens doesn't go down to, it's not like a 2.8, so you're not gonna get that low aperture when you zoom all the way in, but even at 5.6, there's still a lot of depth in the image, considering that it's shot at f5.6, so that was zoomed all the way into 60 mil. It's nicely focused on that guy. I found when I was editing the photos, there was a lot of data there and a lot of the details were retained so some shots I took were underexposed I literally just bumped up the exposure in post and it was all good there wasn't any grain or anything like that which is super important because I love to edit the f out of my photos I don't know if I can say that but 
whatever, I'll just bleep it out. The flip screen helped a lot when I was getting down low so I could have it like this and get a nice portrait shot instead of having to like have the screen like that and sort of guess what the photo is. My first impressions, first photo shoot with this camera, I like it. I think next time I'd like to use a different lens, maybe like a prime lens or a lens that has a lower aperture so we can get a bit more depth in those photos. But for the kit lens, it's amazing, it does the job. If you wanna learn more about the Lumix S5, I'll leave a link in the description where you can go to the website, check out all the actual specs about it. But yeah, that's all for today's video. If you did like it, remember to leave a like, help me out by hitting subscribe. And as always, don't think, just do. Repetition shop and blaze, like Nini Mishima serving up every single plate. The hottest in the season, even summer looks away. Cause I got something to prove I'm here cause I pay my dues So please tell me something new I'm in the...